Okay, so I've opened my penguin. Okay, I did a right click save image as and then open the penguin. I went ahead and went to my layers panel and did an unlock. I also made sure I had my swatches panel. So today I have layers panel and swatches panel. Then I'm gonna do a command J to copy this layer. Then I'll hide the original layer. I will hide the original layer. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and color sample my penguin. So I'll go to my eyedropper tool, sample the body, eyedropper tool, sample the stomach, and then eyedropper tool, sample the nose. So now you'll see in the swatches panel how you have all three colors. From here, we're gonna do one additional layer, and then we're gonna come back to our penguin that is showing and decrease the opacity, just enough so I can see through it. Now we're gonna name layer one body. So I've decreased the opacity of my copied penguin. Then I'll make a new layer and name it body. And now I will click on the black because I'm going to outline the body of the penguin. Okay, <clears throat> second hour. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue the pen tool. I'll do the pen tool again. So P on your keyboard. Reminder, we try to get the longest curves we can. So I'm gonna do a click on the very top. Then I'm going to cut the angle of that curve and click and drag down. Now, I know I need to change directions. So without letting go of my mouse, I hold down Option on my keyboard, then bring the white circle up to the blue square, and then I keep going. There aren't many straight lines on this penguin, or if all. So that's when we would be using shift. Now this penguin will be very special. And then you end where you begin, and now I have the body of my penguin. If I did want to change the color of my penguin, here's a little hack tip. I can do hold down command on your keyboard and click the layer thumbnail to get a selection, and now I can select any color I'd like. Now we're going to go to another new layer and name this layer stomach. I'm going to hide the body layer because I need to be able, and Command D, I need to be able to see the stomach, so I click the eyeball next to the body layer. I select that white that we put in the swatches panel, and now I'm going to use the curves. To outline the stomach. We will, we're actually going to use a little different way. We're going to create um, circles with that instead. So now you can start to see that this penguin is actually coming into fruition. Plus sign. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to do the eyes. So I'm going to do right eye first. I'll navigate to my swatches, get the black. And instead of the pen tool, which we could pen, use the pen tool, bless you, bless you, I'm going to go ahead and do an elliptical marquee. I'm going to hold down shift, and I'm going to click and drag. Then I can do a paint bucket if I'd like to do that, and fill in my eye. Then I can hold down Option to get my copy and go over to the right side. So now I have a copy of the eyes this way, Command D. See how special these penguins are? <laughs> hide, hide, hide. New layer. Let me move this to the front. This new layer is named Nose. 
I need the yellow this time. I'll go back to my pen tool, so P on your keyboard. And now look how adorable this penguin is. You will save this, or you can head back and put in different colors for your penguin. I can rasterize these layers. If I wanted to do a control or command click on the thumbnail, I could actually make my penguin different colors. Let's say I want to make this color of blue nose. Or if I do a right click, make sure that if you have the smart object, you do a right click and rasterize. Then I can do a command click on the thumbnail. And then I can change the color of my penguin. Command D and I can go back and forth. Then once I <clears throat> Once I hide the original penguin, I can even do a new layer underneath there. This is called the background. Whoops, did I spell this correctly? And then watch what I can do. I can even go to a gradient and put in a gradient behind here. I can put in a solid color. Okay, there's all kinds of customizations I can do with my um, penguin after I've hidden everything, but I just keep building, 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 building. Save this in the cloud and then also make it an image and post on your blog.